What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, hmm. do you nerd for more Mega Man? Of course. Tom and Lady Lacey here celebrating 35 years of Mega Man. 35 mega years. And this guy's not just a Mega Man, this guy is a Rock Man. Which everyone knows that. That's what he was called in Japan. Did you know, however? He was almost called Rainbow Man. Yeah, it's kind of due to the fact that, have you ever noticed that whenever Mega Man changes his weapons, he also changes colors. It's kind of a nice little visual indicator of what weapon you're using. Good thing that there was already a TV character with that name, so we couldn't use that name. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it would have the same ring to it. Well, now we are going to turn this over to one of our fellow nerdlings so they can share one of their mega memories. All right. Take it away, Jamie of the Button Bashers. What does Mega Man mean to me? So, uh, I actually only started playing the Mega, mega Man games more recently. Like, I say more recently, within the last, like, 10 years or so. Um... And I picked them up again about two or three years ago uh, when Mega Dan, who was also a YouTuber, was playing one of the games. I thought, oh, that looks really good. I'm, I'm going to have to give that a go. Um, so I picked it up. I picked up Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2, and I played through those, um, and I absolutely loved them. Uh, I played through them with my, my son, and he loved them as well. Uh, I love it how Mega Man's now branched branched out, though, into other franchises. So, for example, if you ever saw the collab me and Sega Head did where we played Street Fighter, his outfit was a pink Mega Man outfit. Da -da -da -da, there's me. A wonderful, wonderful milkshake covered. Mega Man. Uh, which is awesome. I'm, I, I think it just shows um, the real class of the game that it's managed to uh, affect and, and grow in all those other games. Obviously, Mega Man is a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom as well. Um, so he, he has featured in a lot of other Capcom stuff, uh, which is awesome. But the games themselves are just uh, the, the replayability of them for an old older game is, uh, is top notch. And uh, the only one thing I would say about them, some of the bosses have silly, silly names. Like, as if they were made up by a four-year-old. But apart from that, it's great. Like, Cutman, he has scissors on his head. Um, but apart from that, I mean, come on, it's a great game. Uh, and if you haven't played the Mega Man games, I highly recommend it. I need to go and actually play the, the newer ones, the X games. I haven't actually uh, had a chance to play much of those, so I really want to get into them. Once the game room's back, that is coming. Don't you worry about it. Have a good day. Peace out. So bear with me. I had to scrub this and <laughs> it's just kind of funny to watch. <laughs> it sounds like the audio for that would be. Well, thank you, Jamie Nerdlings. Please check out the link in the description below so you can go over and check out the Button Bashers channel and, you know, maybe encourage Jamie to uh, get some videos together once that game room's properly set up. Now, please share with us your own mega memories in the comments section below. Give the video a like, all that YouTube stuff, subscribe, notification bell, and be ready for even more Mega Man memories. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and check out our mer merchandise. And if we like it, nerdlings, we nerd it for Mega Man. Bye.